How's my hair? Does that look good? Okay. Uh, welcome to another exciting installment of geocaching. Yes, the canoe is going back out again. More exciting footage on the waves of the Sequatchie River. A nice, slow, mellow river. Safe with no rapids. But there could be some very shallow places, which could be difficult getting through. Possibly, maybe. Maybe not. We've had a lot of rain here lately, so uh, we could be looking at some swifter moving water that's relatively deep, but not too deep. But uh, in any case, can't wait to get on the canoe. My participant today will be uh, Bubba Elrod, or we call him Ron, if we wish. But uh, I'm going to be meeting him shortly, and it's going to be exciting because he's a rather tall fellow and that could uh, create a center of balance issue because it's only going to be the two of us so we've got no ballast in the middle except for our gear which is probably not going to be that heavy so this could be interesting camera will stay in the box most of the time unless I get brave enough to actually take it out depends we'll see how the first uh, section of the uh, canoe trip goes all right more later See how these work. I've used them a few times. You, you might get sweaty in those. Oh boy, they make a lot of noise. Uh, here we go. This is a man of confidence right here. Waterproof pants. <laughs> That's that doesn't instill a lot of confidence in me. <laughs> but uh, they will keep him warm. I've been a boy scout. Oh, come prepared. Oh, by the way, that that right there is Bubba Elrod. You're about to become a YouTube uh, sensation. Hopefully not. Oh well. <laughs> He's gonna go viral. <laughs> and we are at the Sequatchie. Well, they call they call this a river, don't they? They do. It looks like more like a, a Sequatchie Creek. Let me go down here and get a shot of this. Our put-in point. We're putting in right here. Nice easy steps going down. Oh. right down to the bank and then we are headed that direction because that would be upstream and that's downstream and we're going downstream but first I'm going to go park my car and then we're going to be on our way that's a nice little guest house playhouse fishing house <gasps> All right, here we are, way down upon the Sequatchie River. Very nice day out today. Not too hot, and I'm sure the water's cool and refreshing, which we're staying out of. Making really good time. Uh, let's see how far we got here. <laughs> uh, oh. Only 768 yards. And we don't even really have to power stroke it very hard. The, the creek has some uh, nice quick moments in it. As you can see up ahead, the little tiny rapids past Mr. Bubba's brow. Over there. Yes, look over there. You can see just how quick this water it's moving. And just how fast I can panic if we tip over. <laughs> Although I am reassured that the SD card will survive. Okay, well, I'm just wondering, I can see you underwater holding the camcorder <laughs> up above. <laughs> I would attempt it at least if I can touch bottom. <laughs> I think you can here. Uh, I, I hope. I don't really want to test that theory. <laughs> Okay, 640 yards in closing. Not quite as pretty as the Itchtuckney River down in Florida, but it is a nice little, uh, nice little trip on the water. Mountains are a little prettier here, though. Yeah, they are. All right, enough of that. 
now we're going to all right um, still on the Sequatchie River at one of the caches that uh, was extremely difficult to get to I stayed with the canoe to make sure it didn't float away uh, right now Bubba is up uh, fought his way up the bank very bravely to the cache location somewhere way up there see that big tree right there and that is where it's at and he's coming back now somewhere over there there he is no maybe that was Bigfoot I don't know you can see him moving uh, uh, in any case this was a very tough place to beach a canoe. Uh, we just barely found a spot that was uh, usable to get out at. The fun part's going to be getting back in. There comes the hero! We're going to just have to cover you with fur one day and call you Bigfoot. Okay. Yes, uh, very, very carefully choose your spots. I can't. What, what the heck? Dang it. Sorry about that. I just telephoted in. Didn't even realize it. People are going like, what is wrong with that picture? <laughs> I was zoomed in all the way. You sure you don't want to just come down backwards the way you went up? Because if you miss from right there, you're going to slide right into the water. Yeah, but... You got to step down there. Though it be somewhat muddy, you could lower yourself down into. Just get a hold of a, a, a strong root or piece of <laughs> piece of something that's not going to give too much. There it is. Okay. Oh, and what was crazy was earlier we were up at one cache and a branch fell out of a tree. Missed the canoe by like 10 feet. Not really a big branch, but uh, it was enough that if it landed in the canoe, it would have definitely been startling. Okay, he's almost back, so I'm going to close this out here so I can stabilize. We're coming up on rapids. This is the production value shot we've been waiting for, folks. Check it out. hoo -ya! Master guidesman up there keeps the canoe straight while I video. Oh, it's not just rapids, it's a debris field. Hold on. Do I need to help? Okay. The rapids were so heavy, they overpowered us. Now we must navigate the debris field up ahead. More fun to go through. Bubba's keen eye plotting a course. Take no prisoners. Try not to hit no branches. Let's catch the current and ride it through. Because we are extreme cashers. We're just not going to go down to Colorado in this. Woo, that looks tight up there. We can go right around it. And... Think so? Okay, yep, didn't see that. And watch a big log be laying on the other side. That would be ugly. And uh, there's one right below us. Uh, I think we're okay, though. Think we're okay? Yeah. Okay. Six inch draw, so we're all right. We have navigated the debris field. I know everybody watching this, that was awfully tense. And how far are we from the next cache? 
crap, my batteries died. But it's still .3. I gotta dig out some batteries. I'm sure everyone watching is just disappointed we're not left by now. <laughs> they probably are. Dang it, they hadn't flipped that thing yet. You suck. You have to wait till later. Sorry, camera not waterproof. No flipping. It's like he said, if we flip in shallow water, I'll hold the camera up and you'll get your spectacular laugh then. I think if we do it in deep water, you'll be doing the same. Uh, not if I'm sinking. <laughs> You're going to try it. <laughs> I'll pass it off to you. You're taller. Hold that up! But this has been a very lovely ride down the Sequatchie. So if, uh, if you've never done the Sequatchie River, I advise you to bring your canoe up here and come get these caches because it's nice and relaxing. Except for the part where the rapids caught us once and turned us sideways and I really thought we were going to tip over, but it was only a foot deep so we were okay there. But it was really rocky so it probably would have hurt. Wow. What is that? On the left is the log, I think. Kind of looks like a duck in the distance. Big rapids. We got white water. Okay, I'm going to close the camera here. Uh, be right back if we're not... Alright, we're coming to the end of our epic journey. There's the bridge right there. And we're going to... I think we need to be on the other side of that pillar, don't we? Or was it on this side? I think it's right there. It's a nice little... I don't, I don't remember. Area. Well, we get over here and find it. But we're going to get out. The car's back up over that direction there. And somebody's actually parked down here. There's a Volkswagen parked up there. All right, I'm going to... Welcome to Signal Mountain. Where the homes are nice. And the view is even better. Probably better. That's Lookout Mountain over there. What is that off in the distance? The Great Smokies? No, you got a Coey's right over there. That's the Coey. And you'd have the foothills of the Smokies up there. Okay, let me see. Where's Fort Mountain from here? Would that be Fort Mountain that No, direction? that's a Coey. Um, Fort Mountain would be over in there. That, that might be it. That direction. It, it's somewhere right in there. I see. Where, where is my mountain? Grindstone Mountain. Grindstone is probably right over the lake. Is that possible? Uh, I kind of think that's VW straight out to the right of the lake. Straight out through there? That's Just to the right of the lake. Yeah. And Wait a well, minute. you can you can see well the, the ridge there, the homes that that you know the the cut throughs up there going to Cleveland on seventy five. Um would that be or the cut throughs right up there? You can you can even see the road. See these see yeah, the homes just, up there. So that's just barely. And you would be on the other side of that hill, right? Should be. Actually, you so. should be able to see Grindstone. Well, it'll probably be a clearer day to see Grindstone Mountain because you can see the Lookout Mountain from Grindstone Mountain when you're on top of it. Lookout's there. I mean, you're, you're seeing a Koei behind it. The big tall stuff's definitely a Koei area. So hazy out there. Well, I gotta get home. I'm sure the wife's got things to do. I need to take her out somewhere. Yeah, that definitely looks like VW. Well, so far out there it won't even focus. So he's got a really great 64X on it. Oh, that's the Mueller plant down there on Amicola right there. 
See the blue water tower? Yes. Neat looking things this way. This thing is so crazy. How they managed to squeeze a 64x zoom on a camera this small. All right, there was three minutes worth of viewing. Back at the old homestead, Bubba has went back to his house and it was a nice canoe trip. Uh, did some maintenance on the caches for Squad 51. He's happy now. Uh, there's my nice boat in the background there. Oh, uh, after we uh, did the river, uh, we drove around Dunlap and picked up a few extra caches too. Um, that was pretty good. So ended up with about maybe, I don't know, 25 or so today. And at least, uh, you know, 10 or so of those are, wow, train level 5 with all that canoeing. So we had a good time today. So later on, this is Flag 2007, cashing out.